Pepe is so excited today. His cousin Michelle, who lives on a farm, is coming to visit. She will arrive very soon with her father, her mother, and her brother David, who is a very mischievous child. Pepin remembers Michelle from when she was a little kid. He also remembers that David got him into a lot of trouble with his mother. Pepin is very excited to see his Aunt Maggie and Uncle Carlos. They love Pepin very much. Every time they come to visit, they hug Pepin so hard that he feels like they have squeezed all the air out of his lungs. David, however, seems a little bit different from the last time that Pepin saw him. How strange, Pepin thinks. There is something mysterious about him. Pepin and his friend Sherlock Olmos are always interested in solving mysterious cases. And David seems to be a good case to solve. Sherlock is coming to dinner and they can both investigate him. When Sherlock arrives at Pepin's house, he is ready to start investigating with suit and magnifying glass. Carlos, Pepin's uncle, is telling everybody that Michelle was screened for lead and high levels were found in her blood. Pepin thinks that David may be involved, but maybe the real mystery to investigate is not him, but this substance called lead. What is lead, he wonders. Why and how did Michelle get lead in her blood? Maybe lead climbed into her blood, and that is how she got it. Sherlock does not think that lead climbed into Michelle's blood, and he feels that David has nothing to do with this. Lead is a substance, a chemical element, and for many centuries it has been mixed with other elements to make cooking utensils, pottery, and pipes. Lead has also been used to make paints, gasoline, food containers, cosmetics, toys, and candy. Candy? This is the clue Pepin needed to investigate David again. He probably gave the candies to Michelle, causing the lead problem. Sherlock thinks that the key to solving this mystery is that lead has been used to produce many items. However, he does not understand how she got the lead in her blood. Pepin remembers that they live in a very old house, and he thinks that lead might like to live in old houses. Hmm, thinks Sherlock. Maybe the house they live in has paint with lead in it on the walls or other surfaces. Pepin suggests that it is time to interview his uncle and aunt, as well as David, to find out about the paint in the old house. Uncle Carlos tells Pepin that the local health department is testing the house paint to look for lead. The house is very old, and many houses built before 1978 used lead-based paint. Their house needs to be checked for lead, and if there is any lead residue, the paint that is peeling and chipping anywhere on the house must be removed because it is dangerous for the family to be there all of them are going to stay at Pepin's house for a while. David explains that Michelle could have gotten the lead from pieces of lead-based paint on the floor. Or she could have peeled pieces off the doors and walls and eaten them. 
Or she could have put toys contaminated with lead dust into her mouth. Oh, that solves the mystery about Michelle. Think Pepin and Sherlock. They have learned a few things about lead. They also have found out that David is a very nice kid. And he is not really very mysterious. But they feel it is necessary to call their friend Super Didi because the story about lead affecting children needs to be told. <laughs>